Believe it or not, there are some items in our household or everyday life which are radioactive, or at least they used to be in the past. One of them are those popular fiesta ware dishes from USA from about 30s to 70s. This one is made in about 70s or 60s and it's quite hot. This one shows about 3 milliringens or 30 micrograys per hour. This cup is about from 30s or 40s and it's about the same. About 3 milliringens per hour. And those were made with uranium glaze. So the reason why this is so radioactive is they were adding uranium into the glaze to make it this bright orange. It's actually called Fiesta Vera Red, but it looks orange to me. Another item which may be radioactive is this thorium lantern mantle for gas lanterns. And this contains thorium oxide. And this makes it radioactive. About 800 microrangens per hour. But some newer types contain zirconium or yttrium oxide and they are not radioactive. The next item are radium watches which were mostly produced in 40s to 60s in Soviet Union and Switzerland. The hands and dials contain phosphorescent paint to make them glow in the dark. But the phosphorescent paint alone can glow in the dark just for some limited time after being exposed to light. So they had a brilliant idea to add radium to the paint to make it glow all night long. The phosphorescent paint converts the radioactivity to light, but the side effect is that those watches are radioactive. Some of them are more radioactive, some of them less. So oh, this one is only about 400 microrangens per hour, but this one is over range 3 millirangens per hour. The next item are those thoriated tungsten welding rods. There are 1%, 2, 3 and 4% versions and this one of course is the hottest one. This one contains 4% of thorium. And it makes about 300 microrangens per hour. The next item is uranium glass which has yellowish green color and is slightly radioactive but less than the Fiesta Ware because it contains less uranium. The uranium glass is also fluorescent. It glows under ultraviolet light. Let's measure it. And this handful is doing about 300 microringens per hour. And also the thoriated tungsten cathode of microwave oven magnetron can be radioactive. And this is a sample of the cathode. And it does about 100 microringens per hour. And also some old fluorescent starters or old camera lens can be slightly radioactive, but this is not even measurable with this device. And the last radioactive item is this smoke detector or fire alarm. There are two types of smoke detectors. One is ionizing and this is radioactive and the other one is photoelectric and it is not radioactive. And the one I am bringing to you is of course the radioactive one. And it says Contains radioactive material americium 241 less than 0.5 microcurie or 18.5 kilobecquerels. Don't try to do this, it may be dangerous or illegal. When I open it up I can see the metal electrodes of the detector and it says caution radioactive material. 
and when I remove the electrodes I can see the radioactive source americium 241 in the center of it. So this is what's actually radioactive in it. But this isotope of americium is almost purely alpha source, so my machine is not gonna show much because it's sensitive to only beta and gamma. To be able to measure this alpha source I will have to use another device. This is my homemade Geiger counter with alpha sensitive tube. It has mica window in it and it shows from 2 cm still almost nothing. From 1 cm it's about 2 millirangens per hour and from close proximity it's about 20 millirangens per hour and only about 2 centimeters of air is enough to stop the alpha radiation and even a piece of paper is enough to stop alpha radiation But keep in mind that this material still can be quite dangerous, especially if spread around. So I'm going to put it back into my detector. Don't try to do those experiments unless you really know what you are doing. Those items may be dangerous. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.